This is Terrifier 2 on our 31 spooky movies of Halloween. Did you like Hostel, Saw, or The Human Centipede, but thought to yourself, man, these movies have way too much nuance and restraint. If only they could be more sadistic. Well, if this is you, I'm calling the police. But while we're waiting for the police to get here and file their reports, I'll tell you about Terrifier 2 because it is no doubt up your alley, you sicko. In this sequel to the original that I covered last year, Art the Clown is back, because of course he is. And he goes on another killing spree, because of course he does. Okay, say something nice. Art the Clown is menacing. He looks evil, otherworldly, and David Howard Thornton's silent performance makes him truly sinister and barbarous. To be frank, he deserves to be in a better movie. Even though I found it to be mean-spirited and cruel, I sort of liked the first Terrifier because I found the pointless brutality of Art the Clown, a monster who did not care about revenge or motivation to do his evil deeds, to be the scariest thing. He just killed to kill. It didn't matter who you were. It didn't matter what you were doing. It didn't matter what kind of person you were. It's the same reason why The Strangers was so frightening. Why are you doing this? because you were home. Terrifier 2, however, takes things that barely worked the first time and chucks it right into the garbage. Terrifier 2 is an unpleasant, unlikable experience that tries to appeal to the gore hounds that made the first movie so successful, and you can definitely tell that this movie has a higher budget to spend on makeup, gore, locations, actors, gore, costumes, gore, 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 and the like. The problem is, Terrifier 2 is boring. It doesn't even have the decency to be bad. It's just a dull slog interrupted by moments of depravity and disgusting delight where characters are in trouble and they try to crawl away from the bad guy instead of just getting up and running away because that would be a lot faster. As I said, I think that Art the Clown and the Pale Girl are amazingly designed and acted villains and they deserve to be in a movie better. Not a movie that sets out to pander to a niche audience because that's what this movie feels like. It feels like edgelords pandering to other edgelords. Even placing the final act of a spooky carnival elicited more yawns than screams. And that's the worst part, really. This movie just isn't scary. Despite the fact that art looks terrifying, this movie never is. It doesn't even have any decent jump scares. It's just a succession of, meet this character. Art kills this character. Art plays with the body over and over and over again. No surprises, no shocks, just blood and boredom. It's just dumb. It's not fun dumb, just dumb dumb and boring which is a shame because even with minor effort, it could be something better, especially with such a great antagonist, but it just seems like nobody cares about that. They just wanted to pour more blood on top of it. Blood is never a substitute for a good, fun, dumb slasher movie. And this movie's just not fun. It didn't appeal to me, but who knows? Maybe if you relish blasts of sadism and cruelty sandwiched between tedious character moments, You'll add it to your list of 31 spooky movies of Halloween. But I won't.